gear. What up YouTube? This is Woody coming back with another mother loving moto vlog. <laughs> this is uh this is going to be my aftermath video of the uh, AMA Vintage uh, Motorcycle Days at Mid-Ohio. I just got back from that the other day. Today is Monday, so it's two days after. I went on uh, Saturday. Uh, I did a ride review on uh, 2018. KTM 1290 Super Duke, freaking sweet bike. That bike is pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use part of this video for, uh, I don't know if people are still doing the first gear challenges, but I'll take the first gear challenge on the uh, KTM 1290, and I'll put you a little clip right here where I hit the rev limiter in first gear at 60 miles an hour. Right here's that video. Hit the rev limiter. Hit the rev limiter. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I don't know what, uh, it just wet, revved up on me so fast. Before I even knew it, I was hitting the rev limiter. I, it was, I was so surprised how fast it got there that I'm, I just caught me off guard. I don't know what the deal was. I wasn't paying attention to my speed or my RPMs or anything like that. I was just going off strictly off feel and sound. And it felt like it it hit it way faster than I expected it to. Um, but 10 grand, I mean, mine's redlining at 13. So, I mean, that ain't too far off. I think it was 10 grand where it hit redline or red li limiter. But uh, yeah, 60 mile an hour first gear. Uh, it was a pretty cool bike. I really did like it. Uh, nice and comfortable. Uh, ergonomics were awesome. Uh, I think I've heard uh, people talk about, uh, I just tried to hit seventh gear. <laughs> I think I've heard people talk about uh, one of the issues with the bike is wind, obviously. Uh, and uh, that was a big ass of butterfly. And uh, vibration in their feet. I'm pretty sure this is the bike where, that I've heard a lot of people talking about that. Um, there, I did notice a vibration in my feet riding that bike. Uh, I didn't notice it to be an issue. It was a slight vibration. That's it. Here's a crop duster. That's what this guy's doing, crop dusting. Probably won't be able to see him go down. Maybe we will. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Maybe not. Maybe he's just flying. Can't see him no more. There's an airport right over there. Or, hell, it's up this way a little bit. I bet he is. I don't see him no more. He probably dove down. Anyways, uh, the vibration went bad. Like, it didn't bother me. I didn't, it was just noticeable. That's it. I mean, it didn't bother my feet, put my feet to sleep. There was nothing to complain about about it. Just an uh, observation that I made of it. Um, I can't think of any. The wind was, I mean, it hit you. A little worse than this bike does I don't know like people talk about wind on a naked bike but it's a naked bike you're gonna get wind um, I get wind on this bike you know what's crazy about this bike as I sit on it I'm not tucked I'm just normal posture on this bike it hits me at my right at the top of my shoulders and up where that KTM or any other 
uh, naked bike I've ever been on is like low chest and up. Now I'd rather have it hitting me full like that than the way this bike and I mean any other sport bike is going to hit you the same way at high in your chest like top of your shoulders and up because that's like bobbling my head I mean you probably do notice it sometimes in the videos like it catches you right on the chin really but on a naked bike that's uh, to me it seems like it's to be expected so I don't know why people complain about it but I didn't mind the wind on it I was only on it for like 20 30 minutes something like that uh, country riding curvy twisty roads um, average speed between 40 and 60 65 mile an hour something like that and the wind what I mean it hit me from about the top of my above my right above my stomach and up and I didn't mind it at all uh, if anything it should it helps hold you up so I mean it, it shouldn't bother you on a long trip I can't see that that bike would be hard to do on the long trip uh, and we all know snowcat rides one and this is the last model so I mean it, I'm, I don't know the biggest difference as far as body shape and of the bike goes is the light is a little bigger on the older ones but I mean he tours on his so uh, it should be just fine on long trips oh, I got the hiccups barping up food <laughs> anyways uh so uh this was my first uh uh ama vintage days that i went to it was pretty cool it, if you ain't never been uh it's vintage bikes racing going on and they had the vintage bikes racing they had uh modern sport bikes racing as well uh all the way up to leader bikes Pretty cool experience. I've never been to uh, motorcycle races before. I think they said that that track's a mile and a half or a two mile track. I'm not positive on that, but that's I th that's a pretty good sized track to me, I guess. Um, huge swap meet. That's what it's mostly about, the racing and the swap meet. Uh, lots of bit vendors um, KTM was the only uh, motorcycle manufacturer there which I was kind of surprised by I I mean I don't know why other motorcycle manufacturers just wouldn't capitalize on that and bring some bikes for people to demo because KTM is the only motorcycle manufacturer that I can think of off the top of my head that doesn't make a retro style bike everybody else makes a retro style bike so you would have thought they would have a demo truck there letting people at least try that bike you know what I mean like when KTM came to Am Expo, all they had was the Z650, Z900. So, like, I don't understand why, like, Yamaha wouldn't have come with some XSR900s and XSR700. Or, um, why Kawasaki wouldn't have came with the uh, Z900RS. You know, like, kind of surprised me. Or, uh, Honda. Honda has a couple, uh, Vintage looking bikes, so does uh, Triumph. I don't, I'm kind of surprised that nobody came except for KTM, it was weird. Um, it was a cool experience. If you have like a pit bike, or, or any bike really, people were riding around, you could ride around all over in there and park your bike wherever. Uh, people on pit bikes and mini bikes and scooters and the most off the wall creation of bikes that you've ever seen I've seen there like this one bike I seen was basically a 70s 
It look, I'd say about 70s. It looked like a 70s snowmobile, this boxy blue snowmobile on wheels. I think it was like a speed mobile. I think that's what it said on the side of it. It says snowmobile is speed mobile. Very interesting. Uh, a mini bike uh, with three wheels on the front that had like a bench seat and a canopy so like he could give people rides. That was pretty cool. All different kinds of bikes. I've seen a, a bike that had a sidecar on it. The sidecar was made out of a castrol oil uh, drum and his uh, fuel tank was an actual gas can and it still had the filler neck on it and everything. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, really cool place. I got pictures of a lot of the bikes that were in the old, they called the old barn where uh, the, I guess it's kind of like the motorcycle show part of it where they have a whole bunch of uh, old bikes on display, cafe racers and stuff like that. It was a really cool experience. I mean, I might go again, I don't know. I had a good time. It'd be better if I, I mean, they have camping and stuff there. I think I would like to a little more had I camped and I could have stayed there all day, but it was like a two hour drive for me. So two hours there and two hours back. So it was cool though. Very cool experience. I'd say if you ain't never been to one, you definitely check it out. Especially if swap meets are what you're into. Uh, it's like one of the largest motorcycle swap meets in the world or in the US. And uh, you probably find just about anything you're looking for in there. But it is a really cool experience. Uh, awesome to get a ride uh, KTM. Um, yeah, the bike was awesome. I can't say anything bad about it, except for the price. I think it's priced over 17 grand, brand new, but that's about the only thing that I'd be able to complain about about it. Uh, other than that, like, there's nothing I could complain about the bike. But about the bike, the bike was awesome. Anyways, uh, upcoming uh, things I got going on uh, in two weeks. Uh, Indian motorcycles are going to be at Iron Pony in Columbus, Ohio for demo rides. I'm going to go uh, demo ride some of their bikes. Uh, for most lot, I definitely want to get on a Scout. Um, I don't know what else. I'm not really into their bikes per se. I like uh, I like the Scout. The rest of them are just uh, okay um, but I'm definitely gonna try to get on a scout if there's a Indian motorcycle that you think I should get on leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, we'll see about trying to get on it um, otherwise I'm gonna cut the video here if you like the video hit that like button if you didn't, hit that dislike button. If you ain't subscribed, please subscribe today. And I'll catch you on the next video. This is Woody. Peace and I'm out.